Welcome to the third episode of the April season. If you missed the previous two episodes, check out the pinned comment. And if you would like to receive a collectible skin available only this month, join the channel membership for 99 cents and receive two exclusive skins and unlock upcoming two episodes now. Daniel was driving a train. He was stopping at Mouskawai Station. He waited for passengers to get out and get in. After that, he waited for the departure approval. At the same time, Henry was driving a cargo train, approaching the station where Daniel was waiting. Daniel got approval and he slowly started rolling forward. He saw that he was switching to a different track, so he kept going slowly not to derail. But suddenly, he saw Henry driving on the same track, approaching him at a very high speed. He quickly pulled the emergency brakes. Henry did the same, but the crash could not be avoided. People who saw the accident quickly called for emergency units. The incident killed 13 people. Daniel and Henry were killed right on the impact. The train dispatcher of Mouskawai Station was found guilty. Thank you to the partner Madmonku for helping me making this epic season. More info on madmonku.gg slash beaming TV. Get your focus and gaming skills to the next level. Maria was having a promotion day at her university. She was calling with her boyfriend who was traveling to see her promotions, but he was still around 25 miles away from the city as he was on a business trip the day before. Mark, Maria's boyfriend, was traveling on the highway and he recently finished the call with Maria. Suddenly, the semi-truck's tire exploded and the semi-truck lost control. The truck pushed Mark onto an off road lane, where they both crashed with another semi-truck. Police came immediately after the crash as one of the officers saw the accident. Surrounding drivers called emergency units. Luckily, Mark survived, but he had to be transported to a hospital because of the broken neck. Maria received a call from officers after Mark asked them to call her because she was waiting for him. She immediately started crying and she called a taxi to rush her into the hospital. They met and they hugged each other strongly. Joshua was driving a cargo train through Los Angeles City. He was transporting goods and some electronics, such as TVs, phones, headphones, etc. It was a Saturday and he was working because he needed more money for his family. He recently bought a house and took a mortgage out for it, but he enjoyed his job because he loved trains. Suddenly, his nice ride was disrupted by a bus driver. The bus didn't check for that approaching train and went into the path of Joshua. <laughs> 
Joshua smashed the bus and it fell to a canal. The bus was transporting around 25 people at the time of the accident. At least 15 people were heavily injured. The rest were miraculously with minor injuries. The bus driver was suspended from his job because the investigation showed that he was under the influence of drugs. Joshua was able to continue the train ride after police released the scene. Tim R. was driving his brand new Isle Green M3 G80 in the Belasco downtown. He took the car for an afternoon ride as he loved driving, but he also loved the reckless driving. He loved to show off and race with other drivers. After he filled up his gas tank and bought a pack of Mad Monkey, he got it recommended from Beeman GTV and is using the gaming supplement. You can find more on madmonq.gg slash Beeman GTV. It's available all over USA and Europe. Tim met an Audi RS7 on the intersection and they decided to make a drag race. They floored the gas pedals when the light turned green. Tim saw the light on another intersection as red, but he didn't care and kept pushing the gas pedal until a truck went into the intersection. Tim slammed on his brakes and tried to avoid the truck, but he ended up T-boning the trailer which crushed his roof. The driver in the Audi RS7 quickly called for emergency units. Unfortunately, Tim died on the spot. After police reviewed a dash cam footage of one of the drivers, they also find the Audi RS7 driver for street racing. On March 8, 2023, Freddie was driving his orange Gavril Grand Marshal through East Coast, USA. He was coming home from shopping in town. At the same time, Milan was driving a semi-truck, hauling a tanker. He was in a hurry because he was late with his delivery. As Freddy was approaching an intersection, he was around two miles from his home. Suddenly, Milan ran a stop and T-boned Freddy's car from the passenger side. Melissa, who saw the accident, quickly pulled over and called 911. Milan fled after he saw what he caused. Melissa couldn't get a picture of his license plate and she was busy helping Freddy. Freddie was transported to a hospital and was released later that day. Rob was driving to work in his red sedan. He was living in a small town in the middle of a desert. It was a poor town.
As he was traveling to work, he saw an army convoy. He heard about a war from Crash Frontier News. He didn't mind much about it, but the only issue was that he didn't know that the town he is living in is slowly getting poisoned by nearby business. Beeman GTV with Canadian Motors owner were checking the army convoy transporting something in the container. Beeman GTV decided to follow them. After he saw their location, he quickly called the owner of the Canadian Motors. They both tried to stop them from whatever they were doing, but suddenly, massive explosions happened. <laughs> throwing everything hundreds of yards away. It was a nuclear blast that destroyed all surrounding area and destroyed evidence of this dirty town that was poisoning people living there. This tragic event killed everyone in the town, and also Beeman GTV News was informed about it.